Hello everyone, this is Donna and today I want to share with you some projects that I'm working on with the Deco Fun machine and ribbons. And these are just a few of the many colors that they have. And today we have a pink, we have a white, a baby pink, a mint green, peach, a light yellow, a little brighter yellow, but still very nice, with little white polka dots, a white with silver polka dots, and a blue with white dots. So I'm going to push them aside, and today we're going to work on some of my wands, and we're going to make small bows to be able to decorate them. And that will be the finishing touch to be able to use them inside some of my projects. I'm going to put this aside for now. And we'll be using my machine. And as you notice, as you can see, I have my two poles to the closest left because I'm going to work on very small bows. Usually the poles will be right here. This is so easy according to the size of the bow that you want. You put one pole on this side and one on that side. It's made of plastic so it's not heavy, not difficult to do or not, you know, to move around. And either side has the same thing. So you can do all sorts and sizes of bows. You can wrap it around as many times as you want to have that many layers of a bow really happy with my machine and thank Deb for the opportunity to be a guest designer for the month of March. Today we're going to be working on some of my wands and for that we will be working with small bows. Uh, I usually work with pastel colors so I'm going to work on these two colors and make some bows with them to complete some projects I have. To do this, I'm left-handed, so I'm starting here, but you would start, if you're right-handed, right there, and you hold it, and you wrap it. I can do that too, it's not a big deal for me. I could do it left-handed or right-handed once, and twice, I'm doing a double bow, and twice, and I'll snip it right there. And I'll get a little piece of twine. And wrap it around the middle. I like to lay it down when I'm going to tighten it to get a more secure squeeze on it. And I might have snipped it a little too close on one side, but that's nothing because I can always adjust it by cutting the other side equally short. So let's just cut the other side to match the one side, cut off the excess twine. And I think I have an adorable glittered bowl. Look at how cute that is. Isn't that adorable? And so let me get one of my wands and we'll work with my fairy princess. And for the fairy princess, I have a flower straw from Target. I have a, a mesh bow already. A little saying that says be still and no and it has a little pink charm hanging down I have the fairy princess and I glittered her wings and I put a pink background and on her crown I put another glitter pink background a little cabbage on here and some tiny flowers from Michaels I used my Copics and the branches that are inside her dress I painted them in green hope you can see it better like that very happy with her and I made this tiny bow to go right here I think I'm going to use this bow because the size is perfect really for here this is another rosette that I made and the size is just perfect for here because I can actually do a bigger bow on my wand so, since this wand is so small, this one's a smaller one, 
I'm going to put my bow here. And I want you to see what I'm doing. So let's just glue this right here. Oh, I think this is adorable, this bow. And I'm just holding it to dry for a minute. And I'm going to look for my tiny Michael's flowers for one of the colors that looks nice. Because you see how small this, the area is, so I would need... These are some of my Prima flowers. And I just bend it a little up. A little blue on the back. The other tiny flowers that you just saw are from Michaels, the other ones that are in the container, the plastic container that that I have here. And the little holder is from, sorry, from Michaels. And so look at how cute. Isn't that bow cute? And it glistens because it, it has glitters inside the ribbon. That's really pretty. Thank you, Deb, for sending me this pretty ribbon. Now let's move on to the next one. And we'll come back to the princess. And we're going to open up the bow maker a little bit into a bigger size. And that's the great thing about these. It's just this easy to take out. It's reposition. There we go. And so now, I just want to put it so that you can see it. Let's make more bows. And here we go again. And of course, when you use the machine as it was meant to be used, you can do this with even letting it go. The only reason here I hold it is because I'm going for a smaller size. I'm just going to make a single bow because my ribbon has ended. But the single bow looks very nice too. And here we go. When you're working with this, you're going to center all your ribbons inside the two arms. And that's how you'll have the perfect bow. You can let it go. You don't even have to hold it. And I'm just doing a double knot here. Taking it off. I'm going to cut off the excess twine, throw that out, and I'm just pulling my tabs down to have them in place. This one's a little longer, so there we go. Now, let's get, let's get the, how pretty, see, let's get the, the wand, and we're going to put it just like that. I'm going to just lay it over the other one because I, as I told you, I have a little bit of a, of a mesh bow underneath. And now we'll get a little flower to put in the center. And for that, I'm going to use one of the flowers that are chana. Josie gifted me in a giveaway. And I'll just put it in the center. Look at how pretty that is. Isn't that pretty? And it gives a perfect look to finish off any project. I'll leave a link below for the website. So now we did two. I have these other two wands that I want to do bows for. And I'm thinking that I'm fin I finished my pink glitter. I'm going to work with my green glitter. I just love these colors. And for this one, I'll probably work with the peach color one, which goes with the, the outer border of this flower. So I'll do that in a minute. Let me work with 
for the glittered one. And I said in a previous video, this is actually a stirrer from Starbucks that I use and they were perfect to hold my wands. So I'm gonna do a single bow. And I did use this ribbon for previous segment and so that's why I'm finishing it up. Uh, they bring five, five yards increments when you order. And I have a little piece left over still. Let me get a tie. And if you notice, I'm just one in through the middle. Let me catch it through here. However it's easier for you, I'm just trying to let you see what I'm doing. So, I usually lay them down. You don't need to. It's just me, my preference, to be able to grab it well, to get the knot in the center. And for the ladies who are asking me how I make my bows, the secret is out. And thank you for all your compliments. And I'm going to put this one on this wand. And any adjustments that you want to do, you can do them. That's the great thing about this. So... And I love this mint green. It has uh, glitters in it. It's so pretty. You hit it on a nail, Deb, with this glitter ribbon. Really nice. And I want to put a little flower on this one. Let me see what I have. I'll put one of these little pink ones. Again, and we'll just put it right there. That easy, ladies. It's that easy. Doesn't she look beautiful with her ribbon? Love it. She looks beautiful. Okay, so now we're down to our last wand, which is this pretty lady on a glittery coffee stick from Starbucks. Now, I'm going to use peach this time. Again, same process. It's very light peach, almost cream. It's a beautiful shade of color. Lay it down. Now, layering them as many times as you want. which is what I usually do. I love to layer and to make them have a lot of loops and so forth. But one of my favorite things in a project is a bow. Bowls just make the difference. All right, so now I have this beautiful bow. I hope everybody's having a great day. Over here in Florida, it got really hot again. Which is okay with me because I'm inside anyway. So it doesn't trouble me. But it's really hot today here. And I know some of you aren't enjoying the heat. But 
are actually pretty cold where you live. And so, there goes this beautiful bowl. And now we're going to dress it up, putting a little something in the center. And for this one, I think I'm going to use one of the flowers I won from Archana. And this one is a bigger flower. And I think she sells them in her shop, actually. I'm not sure. She's on vacation right now till next month. This being March. And so, but next month, the store is open again. And she has nice flowers. And there we go. Just letting it dry a minute. And this is the finished look. So, today, we worked on a couple of wands. All of these wands and this one in a matter of minutes thanks for watching everybody I'll leave a link below to deco fun go check it out they have these ribbons that they sell separately in five yard increments and they have kits where you can get the machine and a couple of different ribbons in the kits or you could buy them separate Deco fun. Thank you for the opportunity. Have a great day, everybody. Bye.